We've talked about this rule, and it's an EPA rule. It's only for new engines. We made that very clear. Now, it's in some areas of the country, you're being forced to do things to existing equipment, whether it be idling laws, whether it be limited run time or retrofits or repowers. Depending on where you are in the country, these types of things may pop up. And the reason they pop up is what are called EPA non-attainment areas. So there, through the Clean Air Act, is the National Ambient Air Quality Standards. And these rules set the bar for what each state has to meet for certain particulates. If they don't meet it, they go into a non-attainment status. And when you go into a non-attainment status, you need to create what is called a SIP, a revised SIP, State Im Implementation Plan, on how you're going to reduce the emissions to get to the level you're supposed to be at. Now, it's very easy in certain instances to go get what I would call the low-hanging fruit when it comes to local air reduction. You go after the refineries and the factories and the big facilities that are putting out a large amount of pollutants. But when these non-attainment areas become more serious, they have to go farther than that. And that's one of the things they do in California. California is the most heavily regulated state in the union, no question, bar none. There's a regulation for everything with an engine. I think I might have mentioned that earlier, including lawnmowers and, and leaf blowers. Your whole fleet has requirements for reduction, retirement, replacement. Not an option, requirement. A very scary state to try to do business in. Because of this, because of the emissions uh, that are created in, in areas like that, they, these rules trickle down to mobile and stationary applications. So when they pop up, when they pop up in New York, uh, when they pop up in Illinois, they're going to pop up in segments. And the reason they're popping up is because typically those areas are in a designated non-attainment area. And here's a map here. These are non-attainment areas. The non-attainment areas are ranked based on severity. But you can see 39 states on here have a county or area in a non-attainment area. These areas may or may not be where you live. They, were, they are where I live. And then there's maintenance areas. These are areas that are, are becoming dangerously close to falling into non-attainment. 45 states are in that boat. So when you see these rules coming up, these regulations coming up, it's typically a result of the EPA and their non-attainment. If you do not meet the non-attainment rules, if you do not bring the air quality back to where it's supposed to be, you lose federal highway funds, the holy grail for states. You will have the EPA come in and revise your SIP. They will start running your emissions reduction process for you, which nobody wants, because that's going to be a loss of jobs, more than likely. So areas and counties will continue to come up with these rules and regulations to try to make sure that they're appeasing the EPA.